The first maneuver on the delta test is the right forward inside three turn. The total length of the stroke must be at least twice the skater's height, with the turn being made from the right forward inside edge to the right backward outside edge, halfway through the stroke. The curve of the entrance edge and the exit edge must be the same. The arm position both before and after the turn is optional, as long as good control and balance are maintained. The shoulders are rotated into the circle prior to the hips turning. The skater's hips and shoulders twist in opposite directions during the turn. The free leg must be held in back without touching the ice during the entire stroke. Upright posture and a flexible skating knee should be evident throughout the maneuver. The final backward outside edge should be held to the satisfaction of the examiner. The next maneuver is the forward edges. A series of at least four semicircles must be performed on the forward outside edges. The skater must alternate feet within the series. Each semicircle should have a diameter at least equal to the skater's height, but no more than three times their height. The semicircles must be lined up on an axis. Each push must be made from a clean inside edge no pushing with the toe pick. Forward inside edges. A series of at least four semicircles must be performed on the forward inside edge, with the other requirements the same as those for the forward outside edges. The next maneuver on the delta test is the choice of a shoot the duck or lunge. Our skater has chosen to demonstrate the lunge. The length of the glide must be at least a distance equal to four times the skater's height. The skating hip must not be higher than the skating knee. The free leg must be extended to the back with the free foot turned out and the toe pointed. During the lunge glide, the free foot touches the ice only at the sideball part of the skater's boot. The back must be straight, the head and arm positions are optional. The entire maneuver must be done in a forward direction with the descent and ascent being performed on the same foot and completed with a one foot glide on the same foot with the arms extended. The last maneuver in the delta test is the bunny hop. While gliding forward on one foot, the skater must leap forward, taking off from the toe pick of the skating foot and landing on the toe rack of the other foot, immediately returning to a forward glide on the takeoff foot. Please refer to the ISI Skaters and Coaches Handbook for more information. 